So you're heading off to Germany, and then so what's your plan? Like, what do you want to happen? Obviously, the the virus has its own say, clearly. But what yeah. what what are you what are you hoping for uh, from as a through line from from here all the way to 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 I guess the end of this year, even with Beijing in mind? Yeah, what are you, gosh. What are you hoping for? Um, yeah, I'm hoping you know, looking at a. a quite a few of the other sports right now and how they are operating um you know basketball formula one a lot of a lot of sports are rising to the challenge finding a way to include fans in a different way than before but still including fans um and being able to compete and actually have their games and continue with the playoffs and race and that's what i hope for ski racing is that you know, our season starts on October 17th. It's supposed to start on October 17th, and I'm hoping that um, our, our, the whole World Cup circuit will all be able to come together. And, you know, when I talk about the message of resiliency, it's really about everybody just saying, hey, <laughs> uh, this, is, this is less about me and more about us all being able to have our sport and to, to do our sport in the midst of a pandemic. And the pandemic's not going to go away before we are supposed to have our first race of the season. So we have to manage it and do the best we can. And it's great to see so many sports, you know, promoting masks and have, getting the testing and getting their athletes in a bubble and trying to, trying to be aware of the global climate while you're still doing what you're, you know, hoping to do in your own little world. Mm -hmm. Because um, it sets an example for everyone else and for all the people out there saying, you know, we can't shut down our economy and do this and that. And, like, this is how we continue life and sports and business and work and our jobs and could keep the economy going. This is how we're going to do it. So it's it's not like an either-or situation where we got to find a way to show up today and make it happen today, given our current circumstances. And I think that's what I hope for ski racing is that we find a way to do that. Me too. In terms of resiliency, all you got to do is look at Jamal Murray and the Nuggets right there oh in Colorado, gosh. right? That's right. That last game, oh, that I cannot believe <laughs> I the final shot. That was like tore my heart out and just smushed it on the floor. <laughs> hey, but it's look, but that means all this is one more loss for them until they really get it going. That's the yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. They're gonna go. They're gonna go another four wins, and everyone's gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, this has never happened in history." And Jamal, I can you can we just quickly touch on the fact Please. that Jamal looks small on the court, and he's six four. He's and he's playing like he's seven four. He's yeah, he's not, like, he's not a small guy, but he looks like a, a little ninja. It's unbelievable. I it's really fun to watch them play right now. It, it it is. And and obviously they have been counted out so many damn times and they yeah. keep getting off uh, they keep getting off the mat. Uh but here comes LeBron and Anthony Davis. I thought they did have him again. I really thought that this was uh this was it, but you know, but I'm glad that you're 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 why but you're right. It's great to see them in the bubble doing their thing and you know maybe again that they can be more of a continue to be an inspiration to you and everyone else there yeah. in the colorado area hey you watched all the way to the end thanks for that watch more right here